Hello everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Uh, we greeting you in this solar festival of under the sign of Capricorn. And my name is Alexander and I welcome you on the behalf of the 2025 Initiative Coordination Group. And um, I invite Katya Kaufman to lead us in alignment today. Katya, please unmute yourself. It's, looks there are some problems with unmuting. Just give a couple more seconds for for Katya to try to unmute herself. It seems like there are some technical problems. So then I will lead in alignment. So let's align individually. Linking with own soul. And we visualize the big circle of people connecting our webinar from around the world, seeing them as stars shining in space, and we connect with each other with light and love. And we visualize our group center, group heart center, through which we connect with the heart center of the hierarchy, the Christ. And we extend our alignment further, projecting the line of lighted energy to the fast center where the will of God is known, Shambhala. And now we bring our focus to humanity and its need. And we see how these three centers work in triangle, synchronizing its radiance and vibration, the energy freely flowing between each center and within the triangle as a whole.
and we bring our focus back in the group heart center. And keeping the alignment, we begin our work today. So I want to introduce you our special guests um, today. And uh, they are very dear friends of mine. And um, it's Uta, Uta Gabi from Israel and Stefana Banadiman from Italy. And actually both now in Italy. Hi, uh, Uta, hi, Stefana. Hi, hi. Hi, hello. <laughs> uh, greetings to you, my dear friends. And um, actually, it's not just uh, two of you there, but as you told me, it's uh, the, the big group there together with you. We got the stage. <laughs> <laughs> so I will just give the microphone to you and I will just um, want to uh, apologize for our participants that there will be some difference in the sound between my voice and uh, Utas and Stefana and people in their room uh, because they have to use the microphone and their computers instead of headset. So, but we tested the sound, it should be pretty well, pretty good. So welcome, the floor is yours. Okay. Okay. Can we start? Yes. <laughs> Please do. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. Uh, I am Stefano Moradiman. I am a member of the community of living ethics in Italy. And um, we can we can start like this. Once upon a time, in 2009, during the World Service Intergroup, uh, I met Uta <laughs> um, during the dance that we were making uh, with the World Service Intergroup and with all the groups present during, during our meeting. Um, we were dancing and I was looking at the face of Uta and I was, uh, when we were dancing, I was uh, looking at the face and she was very joyful and full of happiness. So uh, I was attracted by the face of Uta and uh, after that moment, uh, uh, when we were taking the train for going uh, to London, for taking all our planes to go back to our countries, we were talking about a a possible uh, seminar that I can make and in which way we can work together. So um, we started to talk about uh, the future seminar. Then we met in Jerusalem um, after a couple of months. We make our seminar, uh, I make uh, my seminar, sorry, and um, the, the funny things that I understand in that moment, and it was not so funny, but uh, that uh, it wasn't a seminar of himself, but it was just uh, uh, something connected with uh, a future purpose. But it, at the beginning wasn't clear, but uh, day by day, uh, thinking about uh, what we can do together, uh, it was coming in more clear way. So um, uh, I understood that this was only the startup for a, a, a wider cooperation, but uh, how to do it, it was the big problem. And uh, um, it was coming through uh, all our um, uh, sharing and doing together. So um, when we began to talk uh, about the purpose, how to cooperate and how to work with uh, uh, Palestinian and Jewish people, how to make a seminar, uh, uh, of body expression, but not only with body expression, with meditation too, uh, little by little, I mean day by day, it was coming up a different, uh, a different approach. And um, we, um, of, of course, uh, this was only the startup uh, of this cooperation uh, that very quickly showed a field of service to create an integration and break the veil of separation, which is rooted in all humanity, but uh, it was really showing in the Middle East as well as in the other areas of the world. 
we ask ourselves how we can put uh, uh, in a service this purpose. So, you know, mm, uh, everything was coming very slowly, but in, uh, in, a, in a very strong way. Um, first of all, we were uh, starting uh, to work through the body, and at the end, during the seminar, we were making a meditation. But at the beginning, when we starting through the body, we were understanding how people can understand uh, only through the mind um, their way of unifying uh, their feelings, uh, their, their, how can you say, um, their emotion level, a physical level, and uh, a mental level. Uh, so we understand that we were trying to find a different solution through the body, and the body was the answer that uh, it was coming up very clear. Uh, so we understood that um, um, the body was giving um, the the way to to stay together, really. That was giving answer to the people. Um, I can say that uh, all these uh, um, this kind of uh, relation was coming uh, uh, between the groups, the group that was uh, helping each other in understanding, in uh, doing the things together. Um, just a minute, sorry. Um, we were having different people inside the groups, and uh, I remember when uh, uh, we were having people from Israel and Palestinian, and I remember a lady that was coming in a day with a burqa dressed in a, in a dark way, and it was uh, difficult to understand how we can work together with people dressed in that way, and they say, oh gosh, what we can do, how can we create the field to stay together in that situation? And um, then we have seen that working through the body and uh, being in touch through the hands and doing the things together through the physical body, then we were seeing people that was uh, starting to see and to work in a different way. Um, so, uh, in, during this period, I was having a lot of dreams. Uh, how can we create uh, a, a different way to approach through the body uh, or uh, through a different way, through a mental uh, dynamic way that it could be a, 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 a kind of meditation. Uh, so uh, I was having a dream in which, uh, in which um, we were having a, a station of uh, of uh, uh, a FM station, radio station in Jerusalem uh, with Uta and other people connected with that. And, um, and we were having another, another uh, I was having another dream about the um, uh, wall, uh, a wall of, uh, of glass. Uh, so the wall of Jerusalem was of glasses, and of glass, sorry. And uh, this was uh, mm, made of transparent crystal. So you can see Jerusalem from inside. Um, so in that moment, we uh, decide to give uh, more import importance to the creation of new thought forms, uh, which, could, uh, which could condition in a positive way the situation. I want to add that uh, um, during this period uh, we were going one day through a checkpoint uh, in, uh, it was in Bethlehem, yes, we were going through a checkpoint, so we were understanding in a better way, me and Uta, how can Palestinian people can go through this, so we can, underst we can understood uh, how, how this kind of situation can give a kind of um, uh, difficulties, pain to people. So we were having situation in which we understand uh, how this veil of separation can be created. I want to add that um, uh, I am very grateful to, to I mean, this group, uh, the Herald group, uh, the group that we are meditating with now, it's a big gift to me because it, it's, it 
it is giving to me the, the opportunity to understand the, the veil of separation of myself that I got on myself. So it was giving the opportunity to understand how to be unified to the other people. And uh, we are not talking anymore about uh, uh, Jerusalem or we are not talking about Middle East, but we are talking about the planet. So the veil of separation, it's everywhere and it's coming with a lot of, uh, a lot of energy. So we have seen that we can do it and we can start to work in a different way. I can say that um, uh, it's this 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 moment, this particular moment that we are living in all the planet. Uh, it's uh, something really special uh, because it's a, a big opportunity that we have to change ourselves in 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 unifying with people, in trying to be part of this. Uh, of this planet unified and um, I can see in a positive way and my experiment uh, with Wood and what we have done till now with all these groups it's really uh, a step to going on uh, and uh, a way to approach a different way to do the things together. I don't know Uta if you want to say something else now. Yeah I would like to share a bit my impressions of uh, our special friendship and our work together. Uh, when I came to the WSI, I came to represent uh, the Hechal Center for Universal Spirituality in Jerusalem. Um, and Stefano picked up maybe not only my smiling face, but also a, a, a big need that we had at uh, our little outpost in, in Jerusalem had and maybe still has, we are a very tiny group in a very hot spot. Um, so by slowly getting to know each other, we understood a bit more uh, what's the importance of, of our relationship, uh, what's the potential of our relationship and as it uh, continued also with these recurring dreams that uh, both Stefano and I uh, had and still have, there is um, um, a very special working, um, we kind of forged a, a working um, uh, uh, a thread between us that has become magnetic and has uh, um, enabled um, interesting new ways of uh, working together and uh, working with the etheric body of the planet. Um, from this relationship, this um, personal friendship has eventuated a friendship between his group, the Community of Living Ethics, and our group, the, the, the Little Hechal group in Jerusalem. And um, there was a, a, a mutual understanding that what, what this little tiny group is doing in Jerusalem is of enough importance that uh, the Community of Living Ethics kind of took us under their wings and uh, supported us in, in uh, uh, many different ways. Um, and now there is a, a, a strong connection between the two groups. Um, and we as a Hechal, I'm very happy that uh, now that we are doing this webinar, uh, is, a, is a time when, when the, the Hechal group is sitting here together with us. So it's a, it's a sign of this uh, cooperation. Um, We, the thing that we are doing now uh, is uh, the online an online meditation group. We are meeting uh, regularly online um, in order to contribute to right relations in Jerusalem and in the Jerusalem area. Um, and I want to speak a little bit about what we learned before we will lead a meditation. Um,
for me, when Stefano had this dream that he was uh, talking about before, about the radio show in, in Jerusalem, that is uh, uh, sending out a good message uh, uh, to the whole world, uh, he asked me, you have to lead a meditation group uh, 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 so people can join and we can work with, uh, with Jerusalem. And I said, like I, like I often said, well, our group is very small and we cannot hold, we are not a strong enough anchor to hold all this work that wants to be done so many people feel the, the importance of this, uh, 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 of this area of Jerusalem as a, as a symbol, a symbol of, uh, of world peace and, uh, and an expression of uh, uh, the, the wall of separation in the world. So naturally many people are uh, attracted to share their light and their clarity and their love with this place in order to heal and to uplift. Um, so what we were trying to do then is to attract enough people uh, in Jerusalem to ground this endeavor, to have a sound grounding and uh, Jews and Palestinians to work on this seam line to have of both people uh, that can work together and um, and somehow create a um, a balance also between the local people and the international people that uh, that would join this uh, online uh, experiment. Um, what has happened is that we have worked for a while also with Palestinians. Uh, but we found that um, the conflict is in, in such a stage now that it is not yet, the time is not yet ripe to meditate together. Uh, I think things have to change on the ground first. Some type of justice or some, not, uh, some type of uh, uh, better conditions on the ground need to be um, established in order to be able to work together uh, in meditation. So what we have then understood is that uh, it is important to work on the seam line between uh, the Jewish people and planetary, you know, the international people. And this is what we have now in our group. We have Jewish people and people, uh, international people um, that are doing this work together. We have started with creating an ideal picture what would right relations look like in Israel and in, in Palestine and between Israel and Palestine and uh, uh, we built this uh, ideal picture and made it available in the etheric uh, ambience uh, of Jerusalem and then we understood that we need something more, not only creating an ideal picture but also somehow ground it through our own feelings, ground it through bringing into our awareness, holding in our awareness, also the reality on the ground, the painful reality. And somehow learn how to hold in our hearts the ideal picture and the pain of the present. Um, so maybe contrary to other groups, spiritual groups, meditative groups, um, we experimented with uh, looking also, bringing in also our feelings, looking at them um, and through our feelings also connecting with the feelings of the people in Jerusalem, around, the, around Jerusalem. Um, another thing that we have learned is that we as individuals and also as a group need a strong sense of self in order to uh, open ourselves 
to a world condition. The more we have a sense of self as individuals and as groups, the more we can uh, authentically, practically include of, uh, of any kind of world condition. We also experimented with, um, on the one hand, hold our, we started off with um, calling ourselves a Middle East meditation group. And we did it for a while and then we understood uh, uh, that, well, it is a bit difficult to hold uh, the whole Middle East in our consciousness. So we have co um, reduced it to the Jerusalem area as the essential point uh, of this Middle East conflict. Um, and then again we have widened it to see, well, each one of us has a Palestinian and a, and a, and a Jew in ourselves. So we are working actually with a world problem, not only with a local situation. And uh, uh, now we are kind of uh, holding both both of these in our consciousness. And later in the meditation, we will uh, we will give you a taste of what uh, what we mean, how we do it. Um, another one, and maybe the the, the biggest um, juggling of polarities is the polarity between the heart and the mind. Um, because our focus is right relations, so naturally the heart is a, uh, uh, was and is a strong base for us. We have worked with our own individual hearts and we have worked a lot with building a group heart as the insurer of right relations. And now, after almost two years that we are working together weekly, uh, we have started uh, a while ago um, to also give more importance to the mind. And, um, and what the mind is doing, the mind as the organ of creation and of discreation. So on the one hand, we are using our heart to weave right relations. And on the other hand, we are using our mind, we are just in the beginning now, of using our mind um, to also discreate, to look at what stands in the way of right relations, which is, we have called it, the, the veils of separation. Uh, this glamour, the glamours of uh, that uh, um, that humans produce by wrong relations, um, and we are using now. We are teaching ourselves. We, we are experimenting with the technology of working with the with glamour, according to Alice Bailey's book, uh, uh, "Glamour: A World Problem." Um, I want to also share one dream that I had recently. Um, I dreamt that uh, Stefano and I are laying the foundation for a church. And we do it by uh, connecting bronze wires with each other and uh, a, a whole network of bronze wires. Um, and these bronze wires for me became um, a symbol of uh, the right relation between first ray and second ray. It's bronze, it's warm, and on the other hand, it's metal, and it has a direction. And I think that this uh, first ray and second ray um, balance is something that we are holding in our personal relationship and that we are experimenting also in our group. And uh, my sense is that this is what we need to learn uh, as uh, the new group of world servers to wield a balance between first ray and second ray, between heart and mind. Um, now the two things I want to share before we do a meditation. 
uh, we are working with uh, different mantras also, specifically, of course, with the Great Invocation, and i say something uh, in a minute about this. Um, and we also work with the mantra of unification. For us, the mantra of unification is like a remedy, like a cure, like a, like a medicine uh, for the illness of, uh, of wrong relation, of the the glamour of se separation, the veil of separation. Um, so when we now will be doing the meditation, uh, let us be very intentional, saying this mantra um, really as a remedy, as a, as a, a vibration, that we generate by sounding this mantra, um, offering it into the etheric body of the planet and especially into this area of Jerusalem and Israel and Palestine to make it available. It's like a code, like a, like a formula uh, that we insert, inject, into that area that uh, so much needs it. And then we will use the Great Invocation as, uh, as a, an anchoring of the energy that we will generate through meditating together. And uh, maybe, Sasha, could you put the, the Great Invocation on the screen? that people can see, because I would like to uh, call attention to the fact that we have taken the liberty to change uh, uh, two lines in the Great Invocation. We are using the, the uh, adapted version, uh, but we have changed two lines. The one is, uh, 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 Christ returned to Earth. It is not appropriate uh, in in Israel and Palestine to to uh, to use Christ because uh, um, we have all these other religions there, and uh, um, so we needed something more um, neutral. So we say instead, "May love prevail on earth." Okay. And the okay. other. Uh, and, and the other uh, uh, line that we have changed, uh, may it seal the door where evil dwells. In our work in Israel, um, we have seen that this, this line works counterproductive, actually. The door where evil dwells is for many Israelis and Palestinians the checkpoint. You know, they see the evil on the other side of the checkpoint, and that actually brings people to do the opposite of what it is meant to do. It brings the polarization even more. So we have changed it into, may it lift the veil of separation. Um, and... Um, after having been having worked now for two years and uh, done our experimentations, uh, we we do feel ready now uh, to open our little group to more participants, internationals and Jewish and especially also Palestinians. If uh, uh, there should be any Arabic people we would be very happy to uh, to have you we're looking out for you um, yes to do this meditation together once a month so if there is uh, uh, an interest we will be very happy to to have you okay so we will now do the meditation um, in English and also the the, the um, invocation, uh, the great invocation first in English, and then Helen will uh, say the invocation in Arabic and Lihi in Hebrew, which uh, yeah, in order to 
also to to share with you these uh, these invocations in these two local languages and also in order to ground uh, the energy uh, in the in the in the local area so let us put all our intention um, our heartfelt intention behind the sounding of these invocations okay so let us prepare for meditation <clears throat> we take a few deep breaths to help ourselves settling into our physical body connecting well with the physical body and through it connecting with the earth energy well-being and let us now open ourselves to joy breathing into the emotional body breathing joy gratefulness feeling a smile in us fill our hearts with love breathing in love and breathing out love we center for a moment all our awareness in the heart We let our minds become quiet and receptive. And we gradually bring our mind into focus in the center of the head. Perfect poise. And we bring the richness of the heart into this poise. Poise with a smile. State of serenity. From the center of the head, let us establish a resonance with our soul. Let the vibration of the soul slowly permeate our whole being. We are radiant. We 
and we expand now this radiance to include in our consciousness all the other group members around the planet that are meditating here now together. Just get a sense for a moment of our group, planetary group. Let us extend a blessing towards each other, creating a group heart. And let us now very gradually synchronize our minds And we let the light of our minds now blend into one light. As we do so, we retain our individuality. We hold fine balance between our own sense of self and the group consciousness. I am a point of light within a greater light. I am a strand of loving energy within the stream of love divine. I am a point of sacrificial fire focused within the fiery will of God. And thus I stand. Together as a group, we stand. And we open our awareness to the many other individuals and groups who thus stand on behalf of humanity and the planet. The new group of world service. Let us now consciously become a part of this world group, of this planetary witness, this planetary steward. We take a moment to allow our consciousness to become planetary. self-collected and planetary. And as part of this planetary group, let us now look out on the world, being the witness with love and yet detached. Let us take a few moments silently to observe humanity, partly in light and partly in darkness, with areas where right relations are in place and other areas 
where the glamour of separativeness still holds sway. Take a moment. Now, as part of this planetary group, let us now bring our focus on Jerusalem, the divided city, the symbol of the hope for world peace. Let us take a moment to just observe the etheric conditions in and around Jerusalem. Let us now together project into the atmosphere of the area the thought form of right relations in Jerusalem. Let us imagine right relations in the city of peace. See the walls of separation melt, both the inner walls and the outer walls. Imagine people looking into each other's eyes, seeing each other as real fellow human beings. Let us take a moment to hold this picture steady for the devas to weave it and to seed it in the consciousness of the people there. As we will say now, 
the mantra of unification with heartfelt intent. Let us visualize saying it together with all the people in Jerusalem and the area standing together. Humanity is one and I am one with it. I seek to love, not hate. I seek to serve and not exact due service. I seek to heal, not hurt. Let pain bring due reward of light and love. Let the soul control the outer form and life and all events and bring to light the love which underlies the happenings of the time. Let vision come and insight. Let the future stand revealed. Let inner union demonstrate and outer cleavages be gone. Let love prevail. Let all humans love. Let us now anchor the generated energy by reciting the invocation, the great invocation, first in English, then in Arabic, and in Hebrew. From the point of light within the mind of God, let light stream forth into the human minds. Let light descend on earth. From the point of love within the heart of God, let love stream forth into the human hearts. Let love prevail on earth. From the center where the will of God is known, let purpose guide all little human wills, the purpose which the masters know and serve. From the center which we call the human race, let the plan of love and light work out, and may it lift the veil of separation. Let light and love and power Restore the plan on earth. من نقطة النور في العقل الإلهي ليشع النور في عقول الناس وليهبط النور إلى الأرض. من نقطة الحب في القلب الإلهي ليتسرب الحب إلى قلوب الناس لينتشر الحب على الأرض من المركز الذي تعرف منها إرادة الله لتقود الغاية إرادة الناس البسيطة تلك الغاية التي يدركها المعلمون ويخدمونها من المركز الذي نضعون الجنس البشر لينتج تسمين الحب والنور وليرفع حجاب الانفصال ليجدد النور والحب والقوة التسمين على الأرض
מנקודת האור, אשר בדעת אל, יזרום האור אל דעת האדם, ירד האור על פני האדמה. מנקודת האהבה אשר בלב האל, תזרום האהבה אל לבבות אנוש, תשרה האהבה על פני האדמה. מהמרכז שבו נודע רצון האל, תנחה תכלית את רצונות אדם, תכלית אותה מורי האנושות יודעים ומשרתים. מהמרכז אשר נקרא המין האנושי, תוגשם תוכנית האהבה והאור, ויוסר וילון הנבדלות. יהי רצון ויחדשו אור, אהבה ועוצמה את התוכנית על פני האדמה. So we are ready to share now. Anyone who wants to share? Thank you very much, Uta. Thank you, Stefano. Thank you, the group. And uh, we invite now everyone who is in a webinar uh, to share your impressions, comments, maybe questions. So we open in the floor for the sharing and in order to uh, speak you would need to use the function raise your hand it's a button your control panel um, so please click that and uh, we will unmute you because now everyone is muted for technical reasons and also you can share your questions uh, or comments uh, via the um, question function on your control panel. And so far there was one comment coming from Isabel Kung. Thank you for the adaptation of the great invocation. 
it brings in mind the affirmation the lamp of the body is the eye if therefore thine eye be single unified the whole body will be full of light and thank you for the communion and meditation and for including all those who meditate worldwide it helps us to unify the vision the eye otherwise said humanity most impressive and powerful to hear the great invocation in arabic and in hebrew thank you isabel for sharing Another comment from uh, Jenny Bates. Yes, very beautiful to hear the great invocation in Arabic and in Hebrew. Very heartwarming. The changes are very significant. Mm Um, I see there. There is a raised hand, so unmute. Mm -hmm. uh, um, so, Rudolf. Uh, uh, yes, thank you very much for this outstanding meditation work. And uh, at least we'll also speak some words. I want only to remind us that there are four steps for liberation, and the. The second step we were concentrated on right human relations today. But the first step is active goodwill. And in active goodwill, there is included that we do not hurt ourselves and others. Because this alone will, light, will lead us to right human relations. And after to the right human relations, we will step into peaceful life together. And this will open us a life more abundant. This is the formula what the world teacher gave 2,000 years ago to humankind. And now there is a comment from Alice. Thank you for this meditation. Just wanted to share with the group that we've been, I've, I've been taking part in a group that practices the meditation for the dissipation of glamour for the past year or so, and we chose the glamour of separation. So uh, we, I will share this with this meditation today with our group next time we meet. Thank you very much. Thank you. Very good to know. Thank you, Rudolf and Alice. Yeah, and there was immediately a question uh, on the chat. Is that Rudolf Schneider? Yes, that was Rudolf Schneider. <laughs> and Alice Schneider. It's always good to hear your voices. Thank you. And I will keep you unmuted just in case if you would want to contribute further in, the, in the sharing. Thank you. We will see. There is another comment from uh, Liana Martins. Thank you for this wonderful meditation and meditate with this group. And it was wonderful also to stay together with real friends. Love.
Mm -hmm. um, uh, hi, it's uh, Katya. Um, hi, Katya. Hi. Hi, Huda. Hi, Stefan. Hi, everybody. Hello. It was just an amazing connection, really, with Jerusalem, with Italy, with the community. Just could hear uh, the heart note of both places and uh, of all the group and people who were working together. And um, I was a very deep, I would say, connection. And um, so thank you. And I also wanted to remind us that we are in the moment of Capricorn, you know, of the nine year cycle. So if we connect with this energy and through that, you know, with the energy of the greater Capricorn and extend that into the next nine years, we might feel a greater connection and possibility of distribution of that energy over the, you know, in our consciousness in the next nine years. Mm -hmm. And also as a hard connection from a Russian group, you know, just had to get here yesterday and uh, it's um, also an effort of working with the same energies and building towards the same goal. Mm -hmm. So, thank you. Um, Lorraine. Hi, hi Alexander, hi Katya, hi Uta, hi Stefano, hello everybody. Um, like the previous people who've spoken or written, I can only thank you from the bottom of my heart for a really uplifting and powerful meditation, uh, really very powerful. But the comment that I, I really wanted to um, to make links to the surprise that I experienced when you started, um, Uta, with the uh, focus on joy. And I don't know why I should be surprised by that, but I was. And what I noticed in my connection as you were inviting us to be focused on joy was that whilst we are focused on joy and whilst we are in that place of, of our heart in, in a, a true and full sense, um, it's impossible to be separated from anything, uh, from ourselves, from, from each other, from God, from humanity, from cosmos, whatever level you want to look at it. And I just, I just found it such a simple and yet so powerful way to um, connect the people in the meditation, but more particularly uh, with the work that that you set out ahead of us. So thank you. It was delightful and incredibly powerful. Thanks, Lorraine, for this comment. Thank you. It's a special wisdom. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> A lot of people dropped already. Huh? Uh, and that, that was Lorraine Flower from London. Thank you, Lorraine. And I heard the voice of uh, Elisabetta Raspini in Italy. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so we. I really agree with uh, Lorraine, you know, this uh, top working with joy, I think it's really the quality of the heart and uh, and we know that in the Agni Yoga teaching it says that joy is a special wisdom, 
So to cultivate this quality within ourselves really doesn't need any other effort. <laughs> so thank you so much uh, for this occasion to be together and to share with these monthly webinars and uh, really to, to be one, mm -hmm. you know, in service for the coming one. Thank you. And I want to continue. This is Helen also from Italy, from the Hichal. And uh, to continue the, the, the wonderful uh, experience of joy that brings freedom also. It brings freedom and natural respect for the other. And uh, in my experience, with those qualities in the heart and in the mind, it melts the walls of separation both inward and outward. So thank you very much for being there and uh, joining this meditation. Yeah. Thank you. And I want to use this opportunity of that we all now together in this circle and under the full moon of Capricorn to ask us, how do we see what is our task as a group now to work with the glamour of separation? Because it re relates not on, only to the situation in Jerusalem, it's the pervasive glamour that we all face in our own countries and it's it's conditions, unfortunately, the situations everywhere in the world. So how we, as the aspirants and disciples, and being connected in a, in a world group, how we can counteract to this glamour. And it's, I understand it, it's pretty open-ended question. May I say a few words to this? Please, Rudolf. The world of today has only, the maturity has only form consciousness. But the human being, this is only one aspect of the human being. So we have to educate ourselves and all the others that the life aspect is more and more understood. So then fear will also go away because only the form can disappear. All the other values of the human being are eternal. So preparing ourselves now for the nine or ten years to come because 2025, there will be this big conclave of the spiritual hierarchy for the new ruler decisions of the whole planet. So we can help to prepare a pathway for many people that they understand that we have a wonderful, enlightened and healthy future before us only by cooperating in this preparatory process and tell the people worldwide that the world government exists already. It is not, this is only not externalized. So we are, we can prepare this platform in the minds of the people in the next 10 years with the energies we get today available. So I hope I could make myself understood. This is the task, and then we will lead out ourselves and others from all the glamours surrounding us. Thank you.
Thank you. Isabel Kung shared uh, uh, on this question. Answer to the question, transmute solar plexus force into heart energy. And daily life gives opportunity for that in the most menial tasks as in the most glorious ones, simply. Um, I find that um, simple human friendship is um, a very powerful way to offset the glamour of separation uh, as we share our honesty, our love, our joy with each other, we forge these relationships that, uh, that become magnetic, that become radiant, that uh, weave threads of right relation of high quality into the etheric body of the planet. And energy can flow along these threads. And I uh, would like to repeat this, what I said already before. Um, the, the threats of the mind is one thing and the threats of the heart is another thing. And we, we need to learn how to weave together these, both of these uh, uh, um, different threads. Um, like in my dream, this was the was the bronze wires. Um, it sounds so simple what what I'm saying here, and yet uh, um, I find with all the esoteric work that that uh, uh, that uh, uh, we are doing and what we are learning comes down to this simple thing of of uh, real human friendship. And this friendship, I, I, have ex I am experiencing it, and we have just today talked about it as uh, the Hechal group uh, is here now, that uh, it's like this, this friendship, true friendship, uh, becomes a substance that can be used on behalf of the planet. And wherever this, this true friendship is, there's no, um, as Lorraine said before, with joy, the same thing with friendship. Wherever we have this friendship, it's a guarantor of right relations and a remedy. And a, you know, wherever this is, the, the walls of separation cannot uh, cannot exist. Thank you, Uta. There was uh, another question coming from uh, Dot Maver. C comment and question. H heartfelt gratitude, Stefana and Uta. Will you kindly speak a bit more about the work you are doing to unify through meditation, workshops, and more as we lift the veil of separation? Smiling with you in love and cooperation. Dot. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Dot. Smiling with you too. <laughs> uh, you mean through physical body and? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Whatever, yeah. yeah. Unifying yeah. through our workshops and. Uh, when, so when we are making our workshop. Uh, um, through body expression, we are just working through the body, and so we are uh, some making some movements uh, in which people can touch each other or can be in contact. So we are just going through uh, the the body that is in contact with the other body. So you can see that um, people is talking about uh, a kind of uh, friendship, but is only talking. 
and then when you have to touch somebody else, you cannot touch or you can't hug somebody else. It's difficult for you. So we were trying to find a solution, how to work through the body, to be in contact through an hand or through a simple, a simple contact that uh, could be any one of this. So it's, um, it's a kind of uh, not only talking about uh, be friends or be together, but uh, be through the body, with the body, with the hands, and uh, uh, with some kind of movements. Then, of course, uh, with this, you can have a, a kind of emotions coming up and a reaction about this emotion. But it's very interesting. For example, Roberto Sagioli in biopsychosynthesis tools repeating that uh, you can work a lot through your mind, but if you don't work through your uh, body, you cannot understand a little bit more of a connection. So, you know, it's, uh, it, it's difficult to explain through the words. You have to experiment how to do it. And then, of course, uh, after this kind of uh, uh, working together with uh, all these people through the body, then with the meditation, you fix up all the um, emotion, uh, uh, sensation that you got, and you can understand how you can work together with other people. It's uh, the two things connected, but now Uta maybe can say something else. Mm. I cannot say that uh, the one is coming with the other, but they are helping each other in doing a synthesis. So that's why, you, I mean, my experience was the biopsychosynthesis. Okay, mm. Uta. Yeah, this unification, uh, of course, needs to be done on all the possible levels. And... Uh, um, what I said before that uh, uh, Israelis and Palestinians uh, it's, it, it's not ripe yet for them to meditate uh, uh, we can see it here also first there must be more of a friendship of, of this simple type of friendship of eating together of, of, of sharing things together of, of having the kids meet together uh, um, these simple things on the ground before um, people will be ready to close their eyes in each other's presence in order to meditate together. Um, so we have been experimenting with, with, with doing everything, you know, both uh, uh, eating together and dancing together and singing mm -hmm. together and meditating together and uh, it is not easy because when the the situation on the ground is still so difficult and there's so much um, you know trauma so much humiliation so yeah. much fear yeah. so much injustice so, so you know all these things so it's it uh, it seems like um, it's too idealistic to sit together and just oh, close your eyes and pretend that there's no checkpoint and uh, that, uh, that uh, mm -hmm. you know all all this is uh, not, is not going on and and then you o you open your eyes and everything stays the same on the ground yeah this is what what we heard uh, uh, sometimes from the Palestinian uh, uh, participants and uh, once once they did close their eyes. Uh, 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 they, they said, wow, this is a great thing and please come to teach this in our schools and our kids need to, to know this, uh, that there is a, a, a also a different way and uh, that there is a possibility to relax. Um, but, um, but it doesn't really hold water. Um, uh, it really, things have to change on the ground. This is my opinion, yeah, before we can really introduce meditation and, and, and real um, more spiritual work uh, um, uh, together and uh, that's why uh, we have understood um, well each group each person needs to, to um, decide on which level we work we need all the, all the uh, levels um, but for yeah. example for us now, it is uh, it is important to 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 work more on the mental level. Um, 
and on the personal level between us once we are in joy and mm -hmm. in right relation, in friendship, in radiance and, uh, and uh, we can do this as a group then we can, can radiate this into the etheric body of the planet or of an area and uh, hold it in readiness for those who can pick it up. So we are kind of preparing the ground for for uh, uh, for things to change uh, uh, on a denser level. Yeah, I want to add one thing: working with people, but not only when I was working with Uta in Jerusalem, but anywhere else. People they understand everything about brotherhood and the kind of way to approach the others, so to stay together. They understand. But when you say now hug the person in front of you, sometimes you can see how the body is crystallized and is not moving towards the other. So it's a, a, a big shift when you go in front of the other and you can really hug. It's just when you got an end in your hand. I mean, understanding this, it's a completely another world and the body is giving you answer more than you like expect. So, you know, it's not only the emotion that are coming up. I remember the lady with the burqa dressed in a black way, but uh, after she was, I mean, I was just trying to defend this woman because I was coming from Palestinian. And so I want to, some ways, uh, not that it will be in contact with a man, but uh, at one moment they were in contact with a man. So they were hand in hand, and you've seen the face. You have seen which kind of reaction she has got. You know, we always think that the mind can lie and the body never lie. So, you know, this is a way to approach in a different way than meditation, than a kind of um, um, a different relation. The body can help in doing this. Mm. Good. Okay, so for me it's enough. <laughs> um, yeah, we are almost. Uh, at the end of our time and uh, there's one uh, question uh, coming uh, from Sharon uh, and it's related I think to what I know Uta you wanted to share. So Sharon says how wonderfully powerful thanks so much let's keep the connection going yes is there a particular day that would be suggested perhaps for community uh, groups to come together in support of this effort. Yes, so we were, we are doing our meditations on Monday evenings, uh, uh, Europe time, eight o'clock. It's uh, uh, Greenwich Mean Time plus one. Think. No, no, Monday. Yeah. Huh? Plus one. Plus one. Yes, yes. Uh, whoever is interested to uh, to coordinate. Med uh, their own meditations with ours or, or join us once a, a month, let's say, uh, to do meditation online, please uh, uh, be in touch. We'll be happy. And uh, you can see on the, on the screen now uh, the, uh, Uta's email and uh, now you can copy it from your chat window. So if you're interested, please get in touch with uh, Uta and that would be the gateway to the contact the group, contact the group that will work once a month. And there, there are much more, uh, many more comments uh, from the audience, but we are now already running out of time. So I would just want to thank you all of you who shared your impressions uh, and contributed your energy in this powerful meditation. And so, Uta and Stefano, if you want, if you have any final thoughts and comments to share, please. Yeah, uh, just uh, the comments that you haven't read out, Sasha. Will you send them to us? Yes, absolutely. I will prepare a summary and we'll share those. Thank you. Okay, for me it was a gift, a uh, very big gift for this uh, period, special period, 
to be with you, to be with all of you. So thank you very much for being connected with us. Thank you to all the groups, all the people, and uh, for what you are doing for this planet, for this humanity. Thank you. Yes, I say the same also on behalf of our little group here in the room. Thank you very much, all of you. And uh, traditionally, at this last seconds of the coming webinar, I want to announce our next webinar. And it's going to be Aquarius Solar Festival webinar and on February 4th. And uh, our uh, guest and speaker will be Elisabetta Raspini. And Elisabetta now in one room with Uta and Stefano. Elisabetta? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for agreeing to present next time on behalf of the living ethics community and um, your community is really a unique place on this planet and I'm happy we will have an opportunity to hear you and maybe some of your uh, brothers and sisters of community about the experience of your community. Yes, it will be a joy for us as well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Love you. Love you all. And happy connected meditation this full moon. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Thanks to everyone.